Hi guys, it's so hot outside. The weather these days has been at its peak temperature. Have you ever wondered why we perspire so much in the summer season? Could it be due to the humidity in the air? Well, humidity in the air varies according to the seasons and it's one of the prime factor that affects the rate of evaporation. We know that humidity is the amount of water vapor present in the air and is high during rainy season. But air can hold only a definite amount of water vapor at any given time. Therefore, when the humidity is already high in the rainy season, the air is either saturated or can hold only a little amount of water vapor. This slows down the rate of evaporation and in such cases we don't sweat. Can you guess the other factors that affect the rate of evaporation except for humidity? Yes, temperature and wind. Evaporation happens when a liquid particle gets enough kinetic energy to escape into a gaseous state and ultimately leads to the cooling of the liquid solution. The higher the temperature, the faster the particles move around and escape into vapor phase. Speaking about factors, next time you sweat, you will observe that it dries faster when the fan is switched to its highest speed. The rate of evaporation seems to be directly proportional to the speed of the wind, which means that the evaporation rate increases with an increase in wind speed. But do you know why this happens? This happens because when the wind blows past us, the particles of water move away with the wind, decreasing the water vapor in the surroundings and as a result, evaporation increases to compensate for the water vapor content in the air. Now, it's easy to understand why our clothes dry faster on a windy day. Think about why we always hang our clothes out for drying on a string instead of piling them up in a basket and keeping the basket out in the sun. By putting this clothes on a string, we increase the surface area of the damp cloth, which means there is a high probability of liquid particles escaping from the cloth in the form of vapor. So surface area also plays an important role. It's so interesting. Do you know who discovered this phenomenon of evaporation thanks to whom our daily chores get simplified? Well, it's Nils Valerius.